Hi everyone, I'm Savannah Long, I'm in group four, and today I will be discussing why Rome was religiously tolerant. So Rome was very tolerant of polytheistic societies, and here's why. So Rome was polytheistic in themselves. So if you believe that there are many gods anyway, it's very easy to add other gods into your pantheon. Um, we also know that Rome was imperialistic and they conquered people and brought those conquered people into Rome to be Romans. Um, those people that they conquered, they tended to be polytheistic. So Rome would allow religious freedom and they could worship their gods as long as they also respected the Roman gods and worshipped them. So the conquered people would worship Roman gods and the Romans would in turn um, build altars and make sacrifices to those gods. Um, and that happened because polytheistic people, they tend not to be closed-minded into their gods are the only true gods. They tend to be open to other gods being true and just adding new gods into their pantheon, as I said before. Um, so, as I said before, the Romans, they tended to grant um, religious tolerance as long as you paid respect to the Romans and their gods in turn. Um, here are some examples of that. Um, the Romans, they really loved Greek gods and they loved them to the point that they even considered them to be the same in a lot of respects. Um, for example, you have um, the Roman god Jupiter and then the Greek god Zeus. So they were seen as the exact same god. No one was higher in power. Um, you would think that the Roman god would have more power because, you know, it's Rome and you would think that they would think their god was more powerful, but they were the exact same. It was the same thing with um, Neptune and Poseidon and gods of that nature. They were all very similar. Um, the Greeks also, the Greeks, I always say that, um, I meant the Romans. The Romans, they always tend to love Greek gods, and that's just how it is. They love Dionysus, who is the god of wine and fertility. They love that for obvious reasons. What's not to love, you know? Um, there tended to be an issue with one Roman emperor. He did not like the worship of Dionysus, um, and he outlawed it for a little while, but um, it was allowed back again and the religious tolerance was allowed. Um, the Roman soldier also worshipped another god. They worshipped the god Mithra, which was called Mithraism. Mithra was a Persian god. And that was not an issue because they weren't mutually, exclusively worshipping Mithra. They were also worshipping the Roman gods. And that's why it wasn't an issue. So, again... Rome, they tended to be religiously tolerant to anybody that was polytheistic and didn't reject their gods. They just tended to have an issue with monotheism and the rejection of their gods. So that's why Rome was religiously tolerant. Thank you.